Hey, how's going? Today I'll show you what are the best codes for the loader on your Fire Sticks or Android TVs. Those codes are going to allow you to watch movies, TV shows, live TV, as well as spicy content for your own apps, if you know what I mean, on your Fire Sticks. And all of that is totally free. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to set it up. First of all, basically, you need to get the VDN loader to your Fire Stick if you don't already have it. So you go to search on your device and start typing the loader in the search bar. And as you can see, the loader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on the loader and that's the app that you gotta get to your device. And now after you get the loader, it's actually not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader on your Fire Stick, you have to go to settings. So click on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down go to my Fire TV and open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have popped out for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then go to install on apps. From here, all you have to do is locate the loader and turn the toggle on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick, which is right here. We open it and there's the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Czech Republic right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN for 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for an award. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So go back to the list of apps on your device, start up the downloader application, and now make sure to click on the Home button on your left side menu in the app. So click on Home, and now in that search bar, we gotta enter a code, and the first code is gonna be 492. One five two, so it's four nine two one five two. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see, and then click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It really helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now, as you can see, the download is already starting for us. That shouldn't take too long, but of course, it all depends on the connection speed of your device. Then click install and wait until the app gets installed on your Fire TV. The app is called Flix Vision. It's an amazing application for movies as well as live TV. 
So now, after the app was installed, don't click on Open yet, instead press on Done, and this way you are able to delete the installation files from your device. So click on Delete, and then delete once again. And now finally, if you go to the list of apps near Fire TV, which is right here, you open it, and there's the app that we just unloaded. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and therefore, it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. And then we go back to the loader, and I'll show you a couple more amazing codes for your device, which you can use. So erase the previous code, and now we'll have to enter a new code on your device, which is going to be 4. 9074. So it's 49074. Enter the code as you see and click on go. In a couple of moments, it should start downloading. You can also click on that link to make it a little bit faster. And now the download will start. Usually, it doesn't take long. So we just wait until file is downloaded, click install and get the TTV application to your Fire Stick, which is also an amazing app for live TV, sorry, uh, sorry, for movies, uh, TV shows, and so on, not for live TV, yeah. So it's for movies and TV shows. As previously, we click on Done to delete the installation files from your device. And now, if you go to the list of apps on your device, open it up, there you'll find the TTV, which we just unloaded. Let's put it up front as well, just like we did for the first application, and now there are the two applications that are amazing for movies and TV shows. Now let's go back for the loader, and I'll show you an app that you can use to watch live TV as well as live sports on your device. The code is going to be 448580, so 448580. Hit the go button, and now we download to start. The app is called Sports Fire. This app is dedicated for sports and live TV. So just wait until the load finishes. Then, of course, hit the installation button and erase the installation files from your Fire device. And now, if you go to the list of apps on your device, you'll find that sports application on your Fire Stick. We'll put it up front as well for you. And now, just go back to the loader so I will show you the last code for today. And the code is going to be for the Spice application for you, so so you could watch some really spicy content. And the code is going to be 863078. So once again, 863078. Enter the code like that, click on Go, then click on the link to make the process a bit faster for you, and wait until the app finishes downloading on your device. It's only 30 megabytes, so that should not take too long. Then, as always, click Install and wait for the app to finish installing. Afterwards, we delete the installation files and go back to the list of apps on your device. So there we go. Open it. And there is the spicy app that we just unloaded for you. I'm not sure whether you'd like to keep it at the very top of your application list or not. So you can also hide the app if you want by clicking on hide from your apps and then the app will be only findable from the settings. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected while using such apps to be totally safe online. See you next time. Bye bye.